don't know if you remember, you got you got two snakes. Yes. Okay, so that's the first one. <laughs> Just one doesn't look like the same as she did in Vegas. They, they change as they're aging. Oh my gosh. One of the last things I always do before I'm leaving on a trip is pack any snakes that might be coming just so they can stay in their nice, happy, warm environment as long as possible. And I always have a lot of stuff to pack and it's always hectic. So there's been times when I've actually forgotten the snakes. So I always leave myself a note on the driver's seat to remember the snakes. That way I literally have to sit on my note and look at it and that there's no way I forget them. I never forget them. Seat message for yourself. Pro tip. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. Aloha. Thank you for joining us today. And we're headed out to Southern California, Riverside. And it's kind of stormy out here. I know that patch of blue sky is making me look like a liar, but it's it's been storming, so I, it's gonna be a long drive. I'm gonna try and take it easy and careful and slow. I don't want you guys have to go through all of that with me, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah, oh, just, I just got the Tonys, and we're gonna check out the snakes I brought. We're gonna check out his snakes, but I'm very intrigued by it. Like, the, his house is beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And so we're gonna give you guys just a quick tour of the house. gun style so we're not doing a triple btv okay. interview right now although we will do one of those down the line when you start producing snakes and stuff okay. we'll come back we'll do a when you're a breeder the sure. official breeder we'll come back and do a triple btv episode sure. and show your snakes that you're producing and stuff like that so but for now i just like you to tell me um how did you get what 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 led you to contact me in the first place you had a snake that i was super interested in which i think i ended up buying right eventually not the first time but yeah so i i actually called you and i asked you based on wait 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 how, how did you just call me how, oh, how no i'm sorry so i i i, I messaged you on on morph market okay not not that i haven't I, put my phone number out there a million times for people to call me but which, I, is, which you did which was awesome i didn't expect that but i i messaged i inquired about a snake um you were super like i i told you what i had you, it was really cool because I didn't, that was the first time I got a, a response like to where I felt like I could just talk to you about it. So you actually gave me your number and then we, we, we talked. So I, I told you what I had and then you based on, I said, do you think this snake fits into my collection based on what I have right now? And at the time I only had a handful of snakes. I have a lot more now. And you were super honest and said, eh, I don't really think it fits with what you have right now. So I ended up not getting it. And let me also say, Tony was, the first phone conversation we had, he doesn't feel this way necessarily about how it went. But I, I was like, this is, I had a great conversation. Like I was driving home from Freedom Breeder and like you carried me like halfway home on my oh, drive. Nice. It was such a good conversation. I mean, the awesome. conversation was deep and yes. it, was, it was really good. And, yeah. and um, I, I was impressed with the conversation. It's not, a lot of times first calls like that, people are calling me this yeah. this what everything's different but i was i just had a, i felt really good about the conversation yeah. like there's this really awesome. good energy going and then and then i got to meet you and your mom at vegas in person yes. and Which your mom is awesome you, i didn't think you even knew who i was i i saw you and then you kind of knew who i was right how did you know that i think that maybe it was just the energy maybe it was the maybe. sound of your voice maybe. or something or your yeah. mom your mom i don't yeah. know i don't but know what you it remember, was you remembered me that's maybe i'll put it that way maybe not knew me but you remembered me so yeah. that, that felt cool. That was cool. And then so we're going to check out some of Tony's snakes. And then I'm going to show you guys what he's grabbed. And 
Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do that. Yep. All right, let's check out some snakes, bro. Okay. First, yeah. first snake I ever got. Perfect place to start. This is Golden Boy. What's up, Golden Boy? Super friendly. He's super chill. He's Gold, in shed. Golden Boy's a little bit in the shed. Yes. But uh, so far, like he's been awesome. I love. He's grown so much since I've got him already. Sorry, I, I've got his heavy talking with him. Yeah, you're good. One of the coolest snakes ever. He'll never leave my collection. And he's male. He wasn't supposed to be. I inquired about his sister. She sold, and then he gave me a killer deal on this one, and I couldn't refuse. So I just I couldn't resist. And even though he's not my most powerful snake by a long shot. He's a Botnose Inchy Clown 66% Hat Desert Ghost. So if he proves out, it'll be awesome. But since then, I've acquired quite a few um, that are much more powerful. But it doesn't matter. He's my favorite snake. He's he's never going to leave the house. Yeah, she is deep. She's about to go any day. But yeah, so she was... Uh, I got her from Michael Cole, uh, Ballroom Python South. And um, she was one of my first kind of high-end purchases. Um, super, super bitey at first, uh, not bitey, but defensive. And she's, as you can see, super friendly now, but she probably doesn't appreciate me holding her while she's this deep in shed, but love the snake, love this girl. So when, when I went to, when I met you at, uh, in Vegas, this was an unexpected purchase. This was a not for sale snake and some, shout out Jacob. Yeah. Somehow I ended up with her. Uh, Jacob's been awesome too, by the way, just like kind of a mentor. Are you ready to come out? Here you go. Inchy Leopard DG Clown. And this girl's just insane. She's gonna be a big part of the future of of uh, next level morphs, dare I say. Oh, this shot is fantastic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, she's kind of come off a of fresh shed, so she's looking fantastic. She's put on some weight too since I got you. You're familiar with this snake. I think I see any video with you, with Jacob. He, she was on your table. Yep. So was another one I can show you, but they're the most handleable. Well, they're all handleable, ball pythons in general, but his are just, they love to be held, it seems like. This is a, oh gosh, of course. In shed? Full shed. <laughs> so this is a Batman Het Desert Ghost, male. Yeah, full shed. <laughs> gosh, of course. <laughs> Timing. You're never gonna get to appreciate how amazingly bright she's like electric when she's in, even when she's out of shed. But this is a uh, pastel NR Mandarin Hypo Het Clown from TJ, Tofuti Royals. One of my favorites, like I didn't expect to like her. I liked her jeans and I like what I can do with her. I'll show you the mail that I plan to pair to her. Yeah. NR Mandarin Clown. That you got from? I got from Troy at Best Dress Balls. So this, this guy here, it's just insane. Love this, love this snake. He was kind of small when I got him. He's put on a little bit of size, but it's actually, um, possible pairing this year if he if he gets up to size with uh, Andrew from Redwood Reptiles. He's got a white lace, 66% het clown. With the goal would be to make a a Mandarin lace clown with that pairing if if uh, she, his girl proves out. I don't know if you remember you got you got two snakes. Yes. Okay, so that's the first one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. She almost has that look of. Uh, my, that desert ghost clown I have, but yeah, this is the, uh, oh, wait, wait, lesser inchy clown? It, lesser inchy clown, but there's something else, right? Red stripe. There you go. To, to Tony's credit, he bought these snakes like months ago and I'm finally <laughs> delivering them now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you holding on to them for me this long because I, uh, I, we wanted to do this and this, man, she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. Awesome. Wow. I love the, uh, just how the, like she's bright on the sides and then I like how you got a little like dark along after on the edges here. Just like that blushing. That's really cool. You've uh, not seen this little person, right? Never. Never. Oh wait, at Vegas I think I did. Oh, dang it. <laughs> did I have her in Vegas? Yeah. I you guess were, I did. Yeah. Okay, well she's, she's changed a little bit. Okay. I would say. I mean. Just know it doesn't look like the same as she did in Vegas. They they change as they're aging. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She was not this orange. Are you serious? Wow. Okay, I'm kind of blown away by sunset in person. I didn't... Seriously? 
the orange on the sides there is insane. Is that just the combination of the inchy cinnamon and sunset? Like so, what makes it that? I've seen sunsets before that aren't this bright. Like the orange is popping crazy. Wow. She is incredible. This is, yeah, so I think I might, sunset's exciting. <laughs> that's freaking cool. I am blown away by the oranges on this on the saddles. Like that's, I, I didn't know, I, yeah, this, this makes me want to see more sunsets in person now. Incredible. Like that, that orange on the sides and the yellows and the, just, just crazy. She is insane, she's gorgeous. It's hard to capture their true beauty with a camera. I try to do it all the time with my Instagram. It's impossible. But in person, like, this is shockingly beautiful. Like, I, I, it gets me super excited about sunset. I'm gonna want probably to invest in some more sunset stuff now. I've seen this. Wow. All right, folks, so next level morphs on Instagram, and maybe in the future YouTube, but definitely next level morphs on Instagram, correct? Yes. And not just next level snakes and, and this, like Tony has a, a legitimate good spirit and that's something that speaks volumes. You, you can have all the cool snakes you want in the world and you can have all these plans and projects, but if your spirit is in the right place, that's what I like to see coming into the hobby and getting started in this stuff. So props to you, Tony, for you. just being the person you are and, you. and being true to yourself. And uh, thanks for all the support from you and your family to my family. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for uh, taking the time to come to my house and hand deliver these snakes. That's uh, that's incredible. I really appreciate it. And thanks for uh, this spotlight. That's completely unexpected and I feel unworthy and undeserving, but I really, really appreciate it. Couldn't thank you. I can't thank you enough for that. Well, listen, guys, I don't want to sound... Ooh, check out the hat, by the way. I don't want to sound super biased because, you know, he just got some nice snakes from me. But but Tony is a genuinely very kind human being. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys go check him out on Instagram and give him a shout there and, and say that I sent you over because I, I don't. I don't just shout out people just because of that. Like, like Tony's legitimately, I, 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 gosh, dang it. He just is. He just is. And I think he's deserving of any, anything that comes his way. Uh, dude just gave me a guitar amp that he's not using. I'm, this, this guitar amp will probably be used in this week's uh, Music Monday coming up. So, which is perfect because mine was going to crap and starting to sound like, ah, ah, and he's just like, it's just sitting here not doing anything. I'll just take it. And I was, Thanks. Just uh, generous and kind and humble. Just the type of person you want to have around. So, again, I'd appreciate it if you guys go follow him over on Instagram, Next Level Morphs. And, uh, yeah, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you in the next video. Aloha. Snake room. It might sound nasty. Snake room. It's fun for my kids. Snake room. It's a reptile house. Snake room.